Well, all good things must come to an end, and it's time to get Crossover Mac off of your machine. Let's see how we can do that in three easy steps. The first thing I'm going to do is open up my Finder and take a look at my Applications folder. There, I'm going to look for the Crossover Application icon and move that to the trash. That'll get rid of the Crossover application itself. The next thing that I'm going to do is open up my home directory and look for the library folder. In the library you'll find a folder called application support and underneath that is a folder called crossover. Go ahead and delete the crossover folder by dragging it to the trash. That'll get rid of all of crossover's bottles and other configuration files. Finally the last thing I'll do is go down to preferences and at the bottom of this list of preferences you will often see a com.codeweavers crossover preference list. We'll move that into the trash as well. And then just for good measure uh, go ahead and remove the crossover icon from the dock. At this point if we empty the trash crossover is completely removed from this machine. Bada bing, bada boom. To recap Remove the crossover application icon from out of your applications folder. Then go to library, application support, and remove your crossover folder. And finally, go to library, preferences, and remove the com.codeweavers.plist files. And thank you very much again for using crossover.